Hi, it's Lindy. Today we're going to look at Outlook 2019 tips. It came out, Outlook 2019 came out last year with the advent of Office 365 and always keeping Outlook and other apps updated. There's, it's hard to distinguish when one starts and one stops, but today we're going to go over some things that I think are pretty important with Outlook. These are all the items we're going to go over. I will go through them rather quickly, so hopefully we can get through these in just a little bit of time. All right, one of the first things I'll show you, since you probably think, why is this a different color? With, I think it probably started with 2016, I'm not real sure, but there are options now where you can actually make your theme different colors. Colorful is really pretty much just the white. Dark gray is what I've got mine on. Black is really black and white is, I haven't even tried that. Let's do that and you know everything's white. So the, um, the dark gray is just a bit easier on my eyes and so I have switched over to dark gray. So going back to our list, one of the first things you may want to do with your email is create some different folders. You just come over to the account you want and click here new folder and I'm going to say organize and then it'll put it right there and you can drag and drop things in there as you wish or if, if you want to rename it you can come over here and rename the folder and then that's done you can also sort your folders A to Z you can also drag and drop them. They don't have to be in alphabetical order. If you want one up up here, you can just drag and drop it over there. Drop down arrow so I can get all of my icons. This is also another newer feature with 2019 and Office 365. You can put that up and down to how you like things. Here's a difference between working with your Gmail account in Outlook and in a regular Outlook email account is that the Gmail account, when I look here, I was going to show you the categories, but it's not available to me here. But if I move up here to another mailbox, say this newsletter part, and if I wanted to open that up, then you see the categories are here and I can make this whatever I want. You do have to do one category or one email at a time and categorize them. You can't select a whole group of emails and categorize those. If you did want to make all emails from TLC in the garden category, you would have to set that up with a rule, which we are not going to go through right now. Now let's look at attaching items to an email. So I'm going to come back over here to home, click on new email, and I can either come over here and this will choose a file I've recently used and I can choose one of those but if I have something older that's not showing up in my list I can just drag and drop it over here and it puts it in there so that that is a really great feature another thing I wanted to point out and those are the new icons these are they're calling them new and colorful icons and they've changed from 2016 so that's something you don't have to really know about but it's nice so let's look at views how to view your email in your inbox the folder pane controls these folders over here so you can come over here and minimize it turn it off we're going to turn it back on and then the reading pane how you want to look at your email i kind of like mine like this where i've got this over here on the right and I, I don't like that uh, but I, ha I have this over here on the right so I can kind of scroll down and see what's going on and I don't really have to double click to open it I, I just really like that the other ways you can look you can put your reading pane on the bottom which I have to scroll so I don't use that one or you can have it completely off and you just see a whole list of of emails so I'm going to keep mine on the right another feature I really like is accessibility feature called read aloud and you can click that and it will read the email to you this one wouldn't be a good one to do because you know that's probably a picture and there's not much text but if you have a long text and you want to do something else you can just have Outlook read it aloud to you 
Another great feature is the search. You can come over here, click in the search box and search for anything. In, in my email, I've got, I don't know, five, seven accounts. So I can put a search term in there. Maybe I'm looking for something um, that says WordPress. I can type that in there and I can choose to search the whole mailbox. Or I can just search my current folder, the subfolders from here or everything. It, it is really a great feature. Now, sometimes you may notice your email giving you problems. I'm going to talk about disabling the add-ins. And to do that, we come back here in the options and come to add-ins. And sometimes Outlook will just put different things in there that you really don't want. For example, I had TeamViewer in mine and I disabled it. But to disable it, you click on it and then you come down here to the manage and click in go. And then you just check whichever ones you don't you do or don't want and just say okay. Another feature that I like for people who write emails in small text and that's this zoom bars so over here at the lower right. It's always set on 100% but you can slide it over and make the text, I guess it makes the pictures too, very large. And I, I do like that feature. That's the last feature we were going to talk about today, so I hope you enjoyed this. We'll be doing more tips on other 2019 apps like Word and Excel and so on. I encourage you to subscribe. Click subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other videos when they come in.